What are you doing here today for Barossa Gourmet Weekend? We have a Cortage Barossa Meets Bordeaux Masterclass. <laughs> so we have three different vintages of our Cortage and uh, people get to taste that. Uh, we find that people want to learn, they want to be educated and uh, that's what we try and do to give them a not, not force information into their brains but give them a bit more um, knowledge so that they can go out and buy some decent wine and good Barossa Valley wine. Um, but we also have vineyards uh, in other parts of the Barossa and Main Valley so right now where we are as you come over the top of the hill from Angerston we move from the Barossa Valley into Eden Valley uh, and those two valleys make up the, the greater district of the Barossa so we're still in the Barossa but we're in the Eden Valley part right now. Then we have all of the elements that go into our quartage, which is four different grape varieties, and they get to play and blend their own. It looks as though it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fabulous. They, people love it. We have done this previously a uh, number of times, and everyone who attends just loves it. Why is your blend so good? It, it balances the, um, the, the backbone of the Cabernet Sauvignon with the body of the Cabernet Franc and the um, addition of the Merlot and Petit Bordeaux just balance out the mix. <laughs> so this is going to be the next big wine from the Barossa, is it? I think so. Yes. I think it should be called the Feral Wine. <laughs> we flew from Singapore uh, to Adelaide specifically for this festival um, and because it's a big trip for us um, we've booked pretty much about everything um, including this tasting um, today and so we had the breakfast at the uh, farmers market this morning which was wonderful uh, great produce and um, our daughter got her face painted a really great experience um, we did uh, a Rolls Royce tour uh, yesterday with classic cars um, drove us all around gave us a really wonderful overview and a 1958 uh, silver cloud Rolls Royce it's a wonderful way to start and we're staying at uh, the Linfield Road uh, winery Cottage, um, which is fantastic, got a spa kit, a spa uh, tub that the kids love, and lots of space. A really wonderful time. And what about the wines that you've been tasting? Tell me about your experience with those. Yeah, actually, um, the red that we're having now, the uh, was it Shore, Short Fire, um, the second wine that we've tasted today, is one of the better reds that we've had so far. Um, so we're looking for. We really like the full-bodied reds, um, and this one balanced, it's got a lot of character to it, so my wife's already asked me about buying a bottle. <laughs> and, uh, uh, what would you say to your uh, fellow Americans about this neck of the woods? Uh, that it's worth coming. Um, so I mean we've come from, from Singapore, it's about seven and a half hours. I think if you fly from San Francisco where I used to live, it's probably about I don't know, 8 to 12, I'm not sure. Um, and we like the wines, because I used to go up to Napa and Sonoma quite a bit. We do like the wines there, but again, for full-bodied reds, um, and just the beauty of the scenery, the farms, you don't quite get that in Napa and Sonoma. Um, it's a bit more commercialized and um, we say in Sing Singapore atas which is you know a bit more pretentious um, and we've even found that say in Margaret River whereas here everyone is so welcoming and you know everywhere we sit down with the kids everyone's um, just very open and friendly and um, the people here have, have really made the experience all the better, even in addition to the great wines. So a good uh, gourmet Barossa weekend for you and your family. Indeed, very much so. Very happy to be here.